I'm not going to talk about you know the details of all the kind of the background of ISO 26262 because there are I think we have uh, a lot of different a lot of materials from Mavericks on on why we should perform or or you know we should follow the ISO and 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 etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So the focus today is is you know if we decided to use model B design uh, for ISO 26262 project. And here is the complete reference workflow. You know, I know this is very, very huge, but this is the, but this is how 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 this work workflow looks like. It, it is ex, ex, expected to be very complicated, right? The ISO, and the value of methods two, and the value of using model model design methodology, is that it will make our life much easier to get our systems to be ready for ISO 262. And this is how it works. So usually for a complicated system, uh, we usually, you know, decompose our you know scope of work to different levels. We always start get started from vehicle level, right? But that's not the focus today. So the focus today is the system level and as well as the software level. And the software level is associated with the part six in the ISO 26262 standard. Okay. So, um, so this is the forward path of how we developed our systems using model B design, right? We always started get started from requirements. In the context of ISO 26262, the high level requirement is called a functional safety concept. So it defines, let's say, the safety goals. It defines the uh, how we, let's say, the um, the uh, ASO level, which is the um, the uh, assurance software integrity level. You know, it it, it you know the it perform. So we need to perform the um, the HARA, you know, the hazardous analysis, you know, to get this functional safety concept. So they call it concept, but it's kind of the requirement, right? So that we we start from there. And then we derive the functional safety concept, or we convert the functional safety concepts to the system requirement, right? So once we have the system requirement, then we should think about how we create a proper architecture to ensure the safety of the system and to meet the system requirement. Let's say we should design a redundancy uh, or a redundant system. Let's say two set of sensors. And if one fail and 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 then another should be active and et cetera, et cetera, right? But this is the technique on on how we how we design our systems, right? And um, so it's about you know on the system level, it's all about you know uh, system analysis. It's all about you know uh, creating the system requirements and creating a proper system architecture, right? And then on the software level, we will have more detailed design, right? So we will derive software requirement from the system requirement, right? Which is uh, has much more details here, right? And associated with the uh, software requirements, we also have, um, we should also have a so uh, proper software architecture uh, models, right? And then followed by implementation models, so the implementation model, it's still a similar model, but uh, it contains all the details, which is ready for code generation, right? So that's why the next step is that we will generate the C and C++ code for embedded applications and compiling uh, it as an object code, right? So this is a very high level overview of a forward path, right? So what's the reference workflow that Mavericks offer? to ensure the software and the system compliance for the ISO 26262. First of all, you know, this uh, Eclipse uh, is the name uh, of the product of, of, the, of the toolbox, right? First of all, to create and verify the system architecture, we have a tool called System Composer. Syscom is short for System Composer. System Composer is a tool for creating uh, different kinds of system architecture as well as software architecture 
And let's say you can also use it for uh, creating the interfaces so that you can verify the interface between each system. You can also use System Composer to um, kind of validate, you know, let's say these are stereo types of the system, etc. And how Mathbox responds to, you know, managing the requirement. It's the requirement two box, RE rack here, referred to requirement two box. It's for offering the requirement, it's also for uh, validating the requirement, you know. Okay, next is that uh, in the software level, we use the same two, which is the system composer for handling the software architecture models. And we also have, you know, the same two, which is the requirement toolbox for link the requirement between system requirement and the software requirement and our architecture model. Because one important thing, uh, one important um, aspect to be compliant with the functional safety standard is the traceability. And the requirement toolbox provides the features that allows you to uh, trace between system architecture model, software architecture model, uh, our implementation model, and the generated code. Okay. And uh, regarding you know the implementation modeling, uh, as you might know, we offer a lot of different tools, right? Uh, Simlink state flow is the kind of the foundation, right? And we also offer, let's say, uh, other tools, let's say for uh, FPGA uh, application. You know, we, we have uh, associated, you know, this uh, FP um, uh, fixed point, uh, let's say this is a fixed point designer toolbox, you know, et cetera, right? So this is the modeling tool. And in terms of verification, you know, I'm not talking about code, right? Right now, I'm, not, I'm only talking about model, right? Because this is the model level. We are using model bit design here, right? So, in terms of verifying in the model level, we have different tools here. So, Simlink check. I'm sorry about the, uh, the 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 name here, but this is called Simlink check. Simlink check is for checking um, if the model or the the model it can be a, a Simlink model or can be a MATLAB function, you know, which contains MATLAB code, right? So Simlink check is for uh, checking if the MATLAB code or the Simlink model is compliant with the industry standard, such as, you know, the ISO standard, such as the MISRA C standard, which is the automotive C uh, standard for C language, you know, or, or maybe um, a MAP, which stands for the MathWorks automotive uh, standard. You know, it's for checking the, the compliance of this industry standard for how to model, you know, this functional safety uh, simulating model or stateful chart, and as well as the MATLAB uh, script. And we also have another two called simulating design verifier, which is short for SLDV here, simulating design verifier, which allows us to uh, perform formal verification on the model level and to discover the design errors, um, you know, and to avoid the runtime error. And on the model level, uh, as we discussed before, we have simulating tests. I think I've shown the test manager, right? Test man the test manager is a part of the simulating test. Simulating test is that allows you to manage all the test cases, to perform the autom or to automate the tests, um, and to generate the report and as well as to, um, you know, to perform the mu, seal, hue, pew, and do. Okay. So this all is on the model level. And um, so now we have the implementation model, which is ready for code generation, right? Um, and then once we have the code, right, um, then we have, will have, uh, extra tool that allows you to validate or verify the code or to check the code, right? I'm not saying test the code, right? So for testing the code, 
uh, it will be the same, the same um, uh, two, which is sibling test, sibling coverage, right? Sibling test is set is for automating the test. Uh, it's for um, managing, you know, all these configurations of the tests and etc. And we also have the sibling coverage, it's, which, is, which is for analyzing the coverage on the lab on the model level and on the generated code, right? And since it is the C and C purpose code, right? We are not going to use the sibling check. Sibling check is for checking the model, right? We have another two which is called a poly space. PS means poly space. Poly space is for checking the mis let's say the mistra compliance of the code. It can be generated code or it can be a uh, handwritten code. So any C and PC purpose code can be handled by poly space. Okay. So uh, in in um, in summary, uh, in terms of verifying, you know, on the model level and on on the software level, uh, the two that are required are sibling test, sibling coverage, sibling check. And poly space. It would be better to have sibling design verifier as well, but this is not a must. Okay, so this shows the the ISO reference workflow. I know this is a, um, a big topic, but I'm going to you know I think as a systematic presentation, I'm going to give you maybe um, uh, a, an overview of of you know how you know how MathWorks offer, what, 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 what MathWorks offer and how MathWorks 2 chains can help you to um, make life easier in terms of, you know, you know, ensure the software to be compliant with the ISO. OK, so. Um, here we have a very good or comprehensive uh, shipping example in the two. And the two is called the IEC certification two uh, certification kit. Sorry, IEC certification kit. If you had the license of this IEC certification kit, we in 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 the certification kit we have the uh, uh, shipping example, which is the highway lane following example. This example shows all the details, all the documents. All the MATLAB code, all the all the sibling model, all the test cases, to illustrate how you use the reference workflow that I just uh, presented. How to use so how the uh, reference workflow, how the two can um, help you to develop and test the software according to the ISO. Okay, so I think I will recommend that you first of all you get started with this highway link following example, then you will see you know, all the details and you will have uh, some ideas and inspirations on how you develop the ISO uh, uh, software. 